you're leaving the US Open. So what? There's 500 million people watching on TV. So what? If I ever felt myself getting out of that, what mattered, what, what was going to impact hitting a good golf shot, my attitude was, so what? And I think that when it came to the moment on the 18th tee, it was like, yeah, you're gonna, you got a great chance to win the US Open. So what? Really? Yeah, this is run the process. I don't worry about can I handle it, but I also accept that golf is a game where you're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some. And I kind of had that mentality of Marion too. I, didn't, I knew that it, this didn't have to be my time. I knew that my game, if I keep doing what I'm doing, I'm gonna create chances. And I've accepted I'm gonna win majors and I'm gonna lose some majors. And I think what I did was I put it all on the line. Be in the moment and just let it go. Um, the game will find your weaknesses. That's why the mental side is massive. What if I had just worked a little bit harder? What if I hadn't done that? Or what if I... I just kind of want to leave it all out there. I want to kind of feel like I've maxed out my potential. And I, I, you know, I've sort of... The expectation in which I feel, I feel like I have a great talent for the game. And trying to live up to that talent is my biggest challenge. One of the bunkers, 248, covers 259. 299 on the front right there. That sounded good. You still love it? Yeah. See, that's, that's, that's how I know I love golf, because in the quiet moments, I still love it. In the moments where there's no one around, no one's watching you. But if I hit a great golf shot, God, it feels good. And I don't have to impress anybody. For me, it feels good. No matter how many majors I win, if you haven't got life in balance, if you're not grateful for all the things, the other things that you have, you're never gonna be happy. You, you can never put it down to, I'll be happy when. This is as good as it gets, right here, right now. <laughs>